I'm up here in Ozark and just thought I'd shoot a little, a quick little video of these bees up here in Ozark. Look at how packed out these colonies are. It's very hot. It's cooling off a little bit this evening, but man, it looks like everybody's home and they are just bearding. They are just packed with bees. So I'm just gonna risk uh, popping a couple of lids on these hives and looking inside to see what they look like real quick. This is a nuke here. I think I added a box on here. It's been probably two or three weeks ago. Look at that. Wow. Man, look at all these darn bees. Wow. Let's look at this one. Look at that. I think it's full of honey. This is the one we did a couple videos ago where we put three five frame nukes into two 10 frame boxes. I bet they've got it all drawn out. Oh my goodness, yeah. God, I don't have my smoker going yet. Remember the experiment we did? Let's just pull this Pierco frame up here real quick. I'm guessing they're all packed out. It's been almost three weeks, so yeah, look at this. It's one of the new frames of the Pierco. Totally drawn out, my goodness. The next one is just pure cat tiny may have a little brood in there. Let's pull out a frame of Premier Foundation. Oh my goodness. There's a frame of Premier Foundation. So really these bees just went to work. When we uh, expanded into the two 10 frame boxes, we were right in the middle of the flow where the flow was actually just kind of starting. So as you can see, They've drawn them all out nicely. I, there's just really not, it wasn't a great test because it was right in the middle of the flow and I had, didn't check on them uh, for, well, close to three weeks or something like that. Here's the other frame of Premier that we used in the test. Completely drawn out. So, well, there you have it. They drew them both out, kind of like I thought. I don't have any idea which one they drew out faster, if either one of them. So my goodness, man, they are just crazy. What I've done, is I've got a few boxes over in the truck there that we got down in Bay Manette this past weekend. And I'm just gonna stick them on some of these that need it possibly. I really think we're almost done with the honey flow, but it won't hurt to give them a little space, obviously, if you can see how packed they are. I'm picking this one. That one's not super strong, but I don't know that it wasn't previously, but look at this thing. This thing has four honey supers on it. I mean, look at that. All right, so we do have four supers on here. But one of these is the Ross Round Super. They pull that off real quick. We'll peek in there and see if they're building that out. I'm sure they are. If you can look down in the groove right there, I'm not sure how well you can see it. Right down in there. They're starting to draw these out. Let me see. You see it down there pretty good. They're doing pretty good on them. I'm not sure about the very outside frame, but the rest of them, they seem to be drawing them out. They're not capped yet, uh, which is a little concerning. I really get them capped. Let's just pull this up a little bit. See right there. So they're working on it. Maybe we'll get some nice Ross rounds out of here. I'm just gonna leave them alone for a couple more weeks. I'm just gonna go through here and put an extra box on some of these production hives that I think need it. And uh, just give them a little space, a little room to expand. Whether or not they actually pack any more honey in, that'll be up to them if there's still flow going. But um, I don't have any more nukes with me and these are four deep nuke boxes right here. Look at these jokers. And uh, anyway, I'll definitely put one on there. That's the one that, that we just looked in. Look at this thing. I open this thing up, use a little Gus Mitchell technique here. with a little bit of a gap right there on that box and they're bearding on the front and the back of this thing so <laughs> it's pretty crazy man wow i guess the ozark bees got busy i think it's been almost three weeks since i was up here and these bees have absolutely exploded in that amount of time let me get a few boxes on here just thought i'd share that with you how crazy these bees are looking right now how strong they are up here I love it, man. It's awesome, but we are going to have an absolutely huge honey harvest. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch y'all in the next one.